we have a whole lot of things to gather along the way to Colossi number six. So let's go ahead and get on aggro. Start making our way there. Yeah, we're gonna have a whole bunch of pit stops. We're gonna find an optional trophy, a little Easter egg. That is actually pretty cool. That is uh, just for the PS4. PS4 exclusive. And you'll see why here in a little bit. But our first stop is going to be right in between this giant mountain right here. And this forest area. We'll be going into the forest area today as well. But before we do that, let's go ahead and grab our bow. Because we are going to immediately be getting some fruit. That's hidden away in this corner in between them right here. As you will see in a second. And we're going to get a whole bunch of fruit. This should, yeah, this very, very tall tree you can see uh, right here. Should be all kinds of fruit. And I'll just go ahead and bust out the map so you can see it's right there. In case any of you guys are playing along at home or maybe just trying to find some collectibles or whatnot. Um, so let's go ahead and start shooting them down. As you can see, there's all kinds. They look like lemons. I myself have a giant bag of lemons right now, and I love them. <laughs> I love... If any, if you've watching my channel for a while, then you know that I just love lemons. They're, like, definitely my favorite fruit. So let's go ahead. Pick up the ones that we've dropped here. Hopefully we don't miss them. There we go. Third time's a charm. <laughs> go ahead and grab this one as well. Oh, goodness. I'm, I'm being sandwiched in between these rocks. Let's go ahead and grab these as well. A little more, a little bit more health. We're gonna go ahead and try to find a couple more. I believe they're, sh yeah, look at this sneaky one right here. Oh, wow. And the others while we're at it? We only shot down, wow, the cape looks so sick. Oh, God, wonder. <laughs> All right, let's, <laughs> let's go ahead. Try to grab this. There we have it. Oh, and look at this. Yeah, I thought I shot down more than <laughs> more than that. It looks like it's it'll be pretty easy to uh, lose some of our fruit here if we're not careful. I just want to make absolute sure because I'm very uh <laughs> very much trying to collect all of them. Let's go ahead and actually climb this tree because we can. It's very cool, very large one right here. Wow. Wonder he's got he's got that upper body strength. To be able to do all this climbing and jumping up massive colossi. Let's go ahead and just have a little peek around here. I don't see any more. And hopefully we didn't miss any on the pickup or anything. So let's go ahead. Drop right down. And I believe that's good for now. Huh. If we miss any, it's not that. It's not too, too bad, right? Uh, that's why I keep telling myself. So, okay, so again, that was right here. Let's go ahead and get on aggro and start making our way to the forest area. Yeah. That's gonna be right over here, dudes. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff in the forest, as you'll see. So we're gonna make a turn right through this. Oh, aggro wants to go this way. <laughs> I'm, le I'm kinda letting her steer a little bit right here. Mm-hmm. As long as we make our way into the forest, that's fine. And here we go. Our first trip into the forest. And oh wow, is it beautiful. Let's have a look at this. Let's just soak it in for a second. Yeah. Look at You see this? This is love. Look at this, dude. The creators are of the remake. The people who remade this game were uh, very avid fans of Shadow of Colossus themselves. So you can you can just see how much love is here, man. Through all the lighting effects. Oh, whoa, did you see that gnarly re-jump, <laughs> re-grab right there? That was sick. Uh, <laughs> but it's beautiful, dude. As you can see, we have a uh, forest shrine here. So the thing about this particular shrine is that it has multiple lizards in it. I've heard there's about three lizards around this area, so it might take me a little bit. Man, just look at the marsh, dude. Look at the guck. Ugh. Oh, hey. Look at him. I walked right on top of him. He's hiding in the bushes. There he is. 
There's our first one. Yeah, they should be around this area. Let's go ahead and get our first tail of the day. Beautiful. They should be around, like, in the brush, hiding. And I believe there should be one climbing around it, too. So there's our first one. There it is. And there's two. Wow. That guy really took me a while to find. I was losing faith there was more than one, but there definitely are three lizards here. And yeah, it's it's really hard to spot them in this brush. Um, you're going to want to run around a whole bunch. What I did was run away and come back, and then that one showed up. So I'm going to do that again. Just ran kind of like a little far away. Just to get it to come out of hiding, like so. Run back this way. Just a little bit. Look at this nice touch. Broken tree. There it is. And lizard number three goes down. Wow. <laughs> that was so hard to do, but we did it. Nice. Three lizard tails from one shrine. Look at that. Wow. This place is so beautiful, too. Let's go ahead and pray at the shrine now that we've done that. And I can go ahead and show you. Right here is where the shrine is. The three lizard shrine, dudes. Wow. How very cool. So what I did in order to find them was after I got my first lizard... I ran away for a little bit after I couldn't find the other ones to because I thought maybe like it would ha help uh, get them out of hiding right so I like went all the way here I ran all the way here and then I ran back and then they showed up after that which is pretty cool I love the fact that there's just broken trees just here no rhyme or reason just because you know a nice little touch all over the place too and you can see like tree stumps and the like just like that so now kind of running through the forest here and we're looking for a very cool little easter egg should be hidden around here somewhere i believe if we go here head this way it, it's like buried underground so we're just kind of running through the forest. This might be a little hard to follow. But I'll show on the map once we get... Yeah, right here. Right here. So... Try to paint a picture here. There's like this rock right here, right? Yeah, it's like a little path and it cuts off right here. And then if we go down here... To this little dark cave area... We can find it. Check it out. Boon of the Nomad. Hidden Achievement. So, yeah. This is something from The Last Guardian. Um, that was added. A little a little Easter egg. A little shout out to The Last Guardian. This barrel. Uh, apparently, Trico. The character in The Last Guardian. Uh, the creature that helps the little boy. Uh, eats uh, these barrels. Which is pretty cool. I do have the game. I haven't played it yet. I was trying to wait until I had time to uh, really dedicate like a playthrough to it and make it like special. You know what I mean? So, uh, but yeah, that's a little shout out to The Last Guardian, which is just so cool and a uh, pretty nice little trophy right there. And again, that's right here. Oh, we got our aggro win for us and everything. All right. So with that, I believe our next stop. Is, let's go ahead and get on aggro. There we go. Start heading through the forest, dude. Yeah. And go ahead and... Oops. Sorry, buddy. I, I'm not trying to get her off the path here. Dosh. Aggro. Soft lock. No, it's okay. No soft lock today. Alright, this area. Oh, look how beautiful this is. Gonna go right over this way, dude. 
And I believe this particular area... Yeah, this is it. Some some nostalgic to me about this particular uh, little place right here, dudes. With this tree that's hanging off the edge right here. Um, edge. And let's go ahead. Keep our eyes peeled here, okay? Because there is a lizard that will spawn. Yeah, right there. You see him trying to inch his way away. That was really cute, actually. I uh, made it. <laughs> yeah, they're cute little guys. But we need the tails. Alright, so there you have it. And as you can see, there is also a tree with a ton of live fruit here. But it's off the corner. <laughs> it falls off the corner. The edge. edge. So let's see. Let's just make absolute sure that we've cut down every single bit of fruit that we can. It appears so. Alright, so what we're going to do is we need to get that fruit, dude. There's a little thing over here that we can get to. Right here, you see this ivy? This actually goes off the corner. So we can go like this. Kind of shimmy our way to the side a little bit here. We have to drop down a little further. Yeah, if we go this way and drop down a little bit more, just grab on right there. There's this little rock that we can drop onto. Mm. Just like so. Let's go ahead and jump. And there we have it. Now we can jump over here because we're Fearless Wander, the god. There's the first one. Should be another one probably right there see yeah the fruit that goes off the the uh side of the cliff there we'll say it like that <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh i i do want to double check here and make absolute sure that we got everything i'm pretty sure we did but hey uh, it doesn't hurt to check. So do I have to go up? Good thing. Oh, aggro waited for us and everything. Oh, goodness. All right. And go. Oh. There you go. I was trying to jump off. There's no need. Yeah, it looks, looks like we got all the fruit, huh? I think so, dudes. All right, cool. How very funny is that? So now that that's taken care of. And that was right here, just for reference. A lizard as well as a life fruit tree, right? Now we're gonna head on out. Back into the forest we go. Technically, we can't go down there, but it would just lead us back into the forest. Uh, cool little area, though. So we're gonna go through this way, I believe, where we saw the Chico barrel. Just kinda. I, I think if we go this particular way, Agro will catch up with us. I don't want to force her into a place where she can get hurt or something, you know? Just have a look. I just want to look. Look at this. Wow. It's so lovely, isn't it? Alright, so we're going to go through here. Yeah, right here, I think. I believe so. We need to find our way out of the forest, dude. And I, I believe, okay, so you saw that area, how we could have went down the vines? Well, I believe that circles around here. I believe so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this direction just leads back there. Let's make absolute, yeah, see? Because it goes through that cave and it goes down, right down there, dudes. Yeah, that's right, okay. Let's go ahead and call our friend. She'll hear us. There she is, see? She's really smart. Alright, let's go ahead and get on aggro. Now where we want to go, I believe is this direction. Getting lost in the woods here. Thankfully it's not nighttime or anything. Get all spooky. I believe we can put the nighttime filter on. Look, another broken tree stump right over there. Pretty cool. There's just so much detail to the entire forest. Look at that detail why'd i say that 
<laughs> it's a little odd, isn't it? All right, well, it's fine. All right, beautiful, dude. Here we go. So this is how we exit the forest because we picked up everything that we need, including the Easter egg and all that, which is pretty cool. And now we are going to shift from the forest into the desert area. And it's really, really cool. So we're just going to slowly ride. I'm, I'm having aggros here for me while I'm just double checking everything here. Okay. So we're going to head this way. And we are going to come across a shrine. Uh, as long as we keep straight. Yeah, you can actually see in the distance. That's another shrine. We're actually going to save that one for another day. Because there's a colossi that will go over in that direction eventually. For now, this is the one that we are going to focus on. Oh, there's a hawk following us. We need to interact with that thing eventually. I know, I keep putting it off. They're tricky to grab onto. They really are. Alright, so as you can see, we got another shrine right here. So you know the drill, dudes. We're going to walk around and see if we can find this uh, silver-tailed lizard. I believe there's only one in this one, so we don't have to worry about uh, running away and coming back or anything like that. I know they can also spawn like sometimes along the side here, but uh, here we go. He's on a mission. <laughs> Them, his people need him. See what I'm saying? Sometimes they just poke out their heads just to laugh at you. There he is. Done. There's another lizard tail for us. As well as a shrine. Well, look at all of our health now and our stamina is starting to go up too. That's awesome. Very cool. And that's right here. Just to show it off. It's actually going to be pretty important to grab that shrine because it's going to lead us the direction of another thing. We actually don't really need it that much for reference. But we're going to go ahead. And head down here, dudes. Just around this corner. Oops. Because you see that particular boulder right there? In the center that we're going straight to? There's going to be another lizard right there. Yeah, when I said we were collecting lizards today, <laughs> I meant as he's right there. Let's go ahead and get off. He's going to be very nice to me. Thankfully, this one didn't take me too long to get. So there we go. That one's on... Usually on this rock or around it. Right here, right underneath uh, the mountain. Right there. And our next colossi is going to be right through these gates. Oops. Let me show you. Right through here, dudes. But before we go inside, there is one more thing for us to pick up. That is going to be... Right at this rock on the side here. Go ahead and show you. Up here. Up or usually around this area, supposedly. So let's go ahead and get to the very top. Get our boat at the ready. There it is. There we go. Oops. Done and done, my crew. Let's grab the lizard tail. We're going to leave that sparkling stuff for now, dudes. But we'll get to it. Don't you worry. Eventually. But yeah, there you have it. There's, uh, And that was right here. Right at the entrance of this next colossi. Uh, wow, look at this, dude. See this? I wonder what this is about. This looks like the head of another colossi or something, doesn't it? Wow! Oh, yeah, I see it broke from this. I see. That's so cool! Alright, so... We got a lot of stuff done here today. Let me just go ahead, go through my checklist, make sure I got everything I wanted to pick up right now. Alright, looks like we're all set and ready to go to Colossi number 6, dude. So let's get on aggro. Start making our way there. It's right over this way, dude. Oh, I'm sorry, aggro. But we're gonna actually have to part ways right here anyway. 
Because we can take aggro over here, dudes, but she's just gonna get stuck again. See? Yep. Unfortunately, these rocks, uh, block aggro from coming with us, so we'll say goodbye again. We're gonna head down in here, dudes. Deep underground It's where this, uh, particular colossi is. It's pretty cool. It's pretty, pretty spooky, actually. So we're gonna go over here, as you'll see in a little bit. Yeah, this one's a little bit scary. First time I saw it, I was like, whoa. We got a little climbing action to do. Nothing too hard, though. Go down these stairs. Go deeper underground. Here we go. Here we have it. Nice. Yeah. All right. Look how epic with the fire and everything. Look at that. That's a nice little touch. So we're gonna go over here at this corner. Try our best to grab this. There we go. We need to start making our way down, dudes. Just like this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was scary. That's a new one. That's a new one. All right. <laughs> yeah, we just climbed down that. Then you get to the bomb and all of a sudden it opens right in front of you. And you're greeted with this. Yeah. Okay, and then we go, and then we run. <laughs> All right, oh God, the shockwave got us. Okay, so what we have to do is panic. All right, no, I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and run over here. The best here, because he will break these, as you will see. Go ahead and continue to run. Beautiful, dude. I guess we'll have to wait and see his weak spots in here. We got a nice, nice bit of light right here. Let's grab our regeneration sword because we did get a little body by the shockwave. Yeah, he starts really close to you. Okay. Perfect. It's out his weak points, right? Oh my god, you are the most horrifying thing ever, dude. <gasps> One on his hand, I see. The way we do this, look at him just destroy everything so casually. What a casual. Alright. So we hide back here, dudes. Wow, they really sped him up. We got a mega speed boost. We wait until he goes down to look for us. Like so. And then we grab on. Oh my god, you got an overhaul, didn't you, buddy? Oh goodness. So we gotta grab onto his rather masculine beard. Like what a guy. What a god. So we're gonna go ahead and get Oh hi. Okay. Gonna go on his back and try to he will shake very violently. Yeah, one of the most shaky colossi. If my memory doesn't deceive me here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. Hang on for dear life. Okay. Gonna get back as much stamina as we possibly can. There he goes. Doing his thing. Alright, we're gonna go ahead. Start working on the head. Like so. Get a little closer. Nice big hit right there. Try to get another one. Nice. Progress. How are we gonna get the hand? Okay, let's go ahead and... Keep going. We're getting really lucky right here. We we got a very good sweet spot going on here. Almost got a fully charged. Got a little greedy with that particular charge right there. Okay, we're gonna do it again. Okay, that's it. Oh, you didn't like that. All right, let's go ahead and move. Now I believe there's one on his back. 
Oh goodness. In on Wander. Oh. Yeah. Definitely one on his back somewhere. I remember that. There it is. I see it. Let's wait until he stops his fit he's having right here. He'll tire himself out. Wow! Down here, dude. See? Oh my goodness. Oh, wonder. Hang on. All right. Big hit right here. Let's try to do it again. Beautiful. Wow, a lot of damage. All right, let's hit him with another one. Almost got the back taken care of. Nice, dude. Almost. Okay, that's the back done. Beautiful. He's gonna be he's gonna be shaking though. Oh whoa! Let's go ahead and stand up, try to get a little more stamina back. How do we get this hand? Oh whoa! Alright. It was this one, right? It was he's left? He's a lefty, right? So like a shout out to all my lefties out there. Alright. Just go ahead. How, how though? Be mighty careful here. I believe it was on his hand. I thought I saw it. Alright, let's try our very best. Grab onto this. Grab onto this. Huh? Huh. I see. Alright. Oh, whoa. Okay, cool. Perfect then. So, this is the hard mode exclusive vital. He really doesn't want it. Alright, let's go ahead. Nice. So far, so good. Not for dear life here. Got two more good hits. Should do it. Got plenty of stamina. One more, dudes. As long as he doesn't shake me off here. There it is. Okay. Wow. Tomb of the Giant. That was a perfect fight. That went way smoother than my original playthrough. And he was reworked, too. Like, he got a speed increase. You can tell. Wow. And that is Colossi number six. That's awesome. I had no idea his, his hand was, was his vital. I just came up with that strout in the fly and it worked. That's that's really cool. I didn't fall once. I'm, ha I'm proud, of my, proud of that. It's very cool. We got so many things along the way as well. Funny how most of the video is just gathering, right? But, uh... <laughs> That's cool. I like showing off all, all the nice little touches they add on. I'm starting to get a little crowded here. As you guys can see. There goes number six. You know what? Pretty cool fight too. Pretty cool like start to the fight as well. Like I like the additional Bane. That really had some oomph into it, you know? That was spoop. That was spoopy. Now let's see what we're doing next, dudes. The next foe is a ruin hidden in the lake. A ripple of thunder lurks underwater. Ah, yes. Everyone's favorites. <laughs> One of my favorites. <laughs> of course, right? But, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I can't wait to see how this fight looks in the remake. This is going to be so cool. This is going to be so stellar, dude. I'm stoked. Can't wait. So, we'll see how that turns out, I suppose. Alright, you guys. Thanks for watching. And I will see you for Colossi number 7. Uh, peace, dudes.